Chip say is his RV dead yet. Drink it or wear it. That's right. Yeah. Ain't no goddamn candy. What's going on, guys? Um, welcome back to another Confessions of a Single Father. This past weekend, we, uh, the mental community suffered a big loss. Vinnie Paul Abbott passed away in his sleep in, a, in his house in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the age of 54. Now, he just celebrated... His 54th birthday, I believe, back in March. So it wasn't all that long ago. Pantera was a heavy metal band that started back in, like, I, they formed in 81. Phil Osalmo came from Louisiana, and he uh, joined the guys. Now, the guys didn't always look the way they looked. They used to have, like, these leathery, punkish... I mean, you would have seen him in the streets. You would have beaten the shit out of him. Let's just face it. Uh, but man, these guys could kick some ass. They revolutionized metal for bands such as Five Finger Death Punch, Slipknot, and uh, yeah, fuck you, Corey Taylor. I just want to put that out there. Um... They even had bands like Metallica on the run. You know, they influenced so much. And they have been they've been credited for saving metal music in general. I come bearing gifts. Smell this too much. Badass, man. Smoke. Back when I first started listening to them, it was their first album, Cowboys from Hell. Uh, my uncle, Albert Boy Ramos, introduced me to Pantera. The riffs, just listening to Cowboys from Hell, the entire album, like day in and day out, day in and day out, day in and day out, remembering that I wanted to be a part of the band, that I wanted to be Phil and Sam. I remember seeing them in Johnny Land years later down there in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, for those of you who don't remember Johnny Land, Johnny Land used to be really popular among the gospel, uh, the Tejano roots and stuff like that. But when they had heavy metal shows, they just shut the place down, man. It was ridiculous. It was all the way to the back, to the front. Lollapalooza even visited Johnny Land once. Snoop Dogg was down there. It, it was crazy. I have to say it was an honor to see Pantera four out of five times there in Corpus. Um, I also missed them when they were with Damage, when Vinnie Paul and his brother Dimebag were in Damage Land. And that one time they played a Concrete Street, 
people fucking booed him and people, you know, were talking shit because Pantera were no longer together. They had to, you know, nobody really knew why at the time, but there was a conflict within the band itself. Phil and Samuel was completely out of his fucking head. Yes, they all smoked. Yes, they all drank heavily, but Phil was popping pills. He was doing heroin. It was a time where his back was fucked up from all the jumping on and off stage, the heavy, the, you know, the head banging. So, just the drug use is what broke the panel, the band apart because they, they, they came to him, they talked to him, they got into fights, just like any, any family would. See, back when Dimebag died, I was working in Nauvoo's at a co-op, and I remember some people, the wish of will name nameless, started talking bad about Dimebag. You know, they were whispered this, they were whispered that, they deserved it. I broke down, man. I was pissed, because let's face it, Pantera, man, they were my heroes. Are my heroes till this day. Rex, Phil... Rest in peace, Dime. Rest in peace, Vinny. You know. But they helped me through a dark time in my life. If it wasn't for heavy metal music, I wouldn't be here right now. And Pantera fucking saved me. I don't care what y'all say about heavy metal. I don't care what y'all say about the, the scene. There have been more deaths linked to country and rap than to hard rock, heavy metal, so on and so forth. Okay? Recently, the past, what, two years have been really rough for the rock community. And it's just a lot going on. But heavy metal music saves us. Heavy metal music puts us into a path of least resistance. In other words, it metals, mellows the mind, eases the soul. And it gives you an outlook. It gives you a feeling of release, the anger, the tension, gone. It's the greatest feeling in the world, man. Welcome to the Pantera Home Video Part 4. What's that? You've been drinking? Hell yeah. Man. Come on. I was low last time, I'll get high. Come on. <laughs> Some of my favorites was a vocal display of power, of course. And then a new one that came out that wasn't released because it was lost or they forgot to put it on the album, which was pissed. Man, that song could fucking well, dude. And you know what? I, I think it was better that it was lost for all this time. And given to us now the way they did because we needed it at the time that we got it and 
I think now we need that song more than ever because there's a lot of us that are pissed that he went so young. But you know what? Rest in peace, man. You're with your brother. As in Zach Wall said, he knows that Dimebag is welcoming his brother into God's tavern. Can you imagine Vinnie Paul? He's going to put it out there. Vinnie Paul on drums. Dimebag on guitar. Chris Cornell on vocal. Just going off. It's it's awesome. It's beautiful. So my confessions from a single father for this episode. I'm keeping it as short as I can. Pantera, you saved my life. 